Hello everybody, it is I, Redbeard, here with Right Gamers, bringing you another Let's Play walkthrough, whatever you want to call it, with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, I'm going to be going through some of the tutorials and everything in this game, trying to give you guys an idea of how the game's played, while also giving you my opinion based on what I think of this game is how it's being played visuals uh any type of little bugs you might see in a game so far and so forth and so on uh, as you can see i'm not too adept at uh talking to an audience that's not there but working on it um so first thing we're going to do is start a new game okay as you can see there's many different types of ways you can play this game if you just like the story or if you just want to get out there and get pummeled by the enemy as you can see you got just a story story and sword so it's basically easy normal hard and i'm insane which it says you're truly insane and loving it now because of the fact that i don't want to constantly be dying in front of you guys i'm going to kind of stay Stay a little bit away from that death march and maybe go for a blood of broken bones. We might go back and do the death march later, but right now I, I do want a bit of a challenge, but at the same time I don't want to be dying all the time. So we're gonna go with blood and broken bones. Um I am gonna leave the tutorial on so that we can both learn how to play this game because the controls may or may not be different than what you would have seen in any other Witcher game. So let's, let's turn the tutorials on. Simulate Witcher 2 save. I am going to simulate it simply for the fact that I don't want anything that I have from my previous games to influence maybe what you might see on here. So let's simulate what we did in our last game and see how the story unfolds. I'm going to kind of keep quiet and maybe open my mouth during the cutscenes, um, make crude jokes or whatever you want to say. But, uh, let's move on. Oh, he looks happy. Holy God, he just cut off that horse's head. It's our hero, Geralt. a true sign of a hunter being able to tell what's going on based on the environment around you. Folly of night arrows. When I say folly, I mean volley. He's getting buried alive. I'm unsure if you guys want to be watching these cutscenes with me or not. And basically, you'll be able to skip to later parts in the video kind of get to that and I'm gonna try and put that down in the comments uh, as to where you can go to skip past the cutscenes if you need to. This first video is gonna be probably a lot of cutscenes and 
uh, a little bit of the tutorial and might more so in a second video based on how long it's going to take to get into the actual story of what we're doing and so forth. Uh, as you can tell, I say so forth a lot. <laughs> Beautifully mastered game. I, I just love the way the visuals are on this game. It looks like incredibly gorgeous. Uh, looks like we're getting into the first part. Hayor Morhen, which are key things of the Gwen. Oh, that's Gwen Link. Great, just what we want to see. Year old taking a bath. I guess this is more for uh, our lady viewers. Oh boy. find that amusing. I wouldn't find it amusing either. Uh, hello, nurse. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Scars. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. I'm gonna assume this is in the past, since how Geralt looks so uh, young. Been in this part compared to what we saw earlier in the video. It's definitely. Uh, one way to wake up or start your day. as I stated before, beautiful. <sighs> Looks like we saved. Each message will be saved in the glossary, apparently. And we can technically disable the tutorial messages by going to the options menu, which we might do later on if we are kind of getting the hang of the game. Look, I can jump. Hold down to start your Witcher Sense. So, start our Witcher Sense. Okay, so what do we got here? You're running out of juice. I know. Juice. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Gold clashes with my complexion, you should know that. That's right, silver for the win, yeah? Gold is just used by everybody, you know? Silver, it's more the Witcher thing, right? You know, silver sword. See that igni sign around a lot. Looks like I'm going to be messing with a lot of uh, lilac and gooseberries, things. of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Lilac and gooseberries. I wonder what that would smell like. Alright, let's see. Is there anything over here? Okay. 
Jennifer. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm hmm. Hey, don't Undergarments. Be stomping her style. I like the black and white. I actually like the whole silver black and white thing. You know, I like her uh, choice. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. Alright. Wanna see you a little longer? I said we'd be unreasonable. I don't wanna be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. Absolutely. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Smart. <laughs> Don't dig yourself into a hole. Why can't I run? Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. This world is said to be. I think when I was first looking into this game, when I heard it was coming out, they said that the size of this world, the small island on the size of this world that you see in The Witcher 3, was the size of Skyrim. All of it. So that gives you an idea of the, the magnitude, you know, of the size of the maps that they have in here. Alright, so let's go downstairs and s get to Siri, I guess, and uh, I guess we'll be teaching her some sword skills. Maybe she'll be teaching us, so who knows? Old Witcher's fast asleep. Siri disappeared somewhere, of course. Passed out. Oh, that's one way to teach, I guess. That's not a bad place. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying uh, that like true. A audio you let her walk video over issue. You just like the rest of us do. Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. That seems like that's gonna Killing be monsters shoot. is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Now oh, she's here. Thank you. 
Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of ah. course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Is that a trick question? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. I think she's gonna beat me. Sorry, folks, I have a tendency to look around and try and see what's going on. <laughs> she waited for me. These camera sensitivity is extremely what did I tell interesting. You about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. Smart Alec. Siri, cut it out. <laughs> I like this Siri girl. That's a face only a mother could love. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells. And by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. Smart. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. <laughs> well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. I like the mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. <sighs> Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? 
Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Well, since we're going through the tutorial, we're going to be going through the combat tutorial. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Right. Grab your sword, sir. Draw your sword, Geralt! Right. And basically, this is telling you that you can use swords and socks or LP to do for combat. Now, me, throughout this gameplay, I'm probably, probably more than likely just going to stick with the swords with a little bit of science or alchemy. Quick cuts. One, two, three. Oh, strong strikes now. Give it all you got. Right. Never Stay lock your elbow when striking. Die. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Who's next? This is saying to press space. Slow as a fly trapped in amber today. Do it again. Apparently not. <laughs> so space bar, well, that helps you roll. Siri, see how the carries are going to be right now. Come, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come Pretend now, live later. Yeah. Repost! Strike! Post. Counter strike! Alright, so perform a series of counter strikes. Press that to parry just before your opponent strikes you to perform a counter attack or a repost. There's one. Maybe a storm's coming. Oh, he got me. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. All right, so Let's start right now we're going over Quen. signs. So Quen is going to be your shield. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the witch's shield. Now watch carefully to see what... have cast igni Geralt I want to see sparks fly all right here's your igni we're gonna be using the big cast see, when you go through if not so the tap to bring sign up your, might be a your signs and Q to cast the signs all right Geralt come on our oh. sign is what we're going for now just gonna be a telekinesis. See that, blast. Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Alright. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. So Axie is gonna be that influence thing. Um we're gonna yeah. use this for like conversations really and also mind. in combat to get other um, enemies to work on your side. Show her, Geralt. And then the last thing that we have is going to be that weird sign. Now the Aaron sign Ow. is a trap. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. This Throw a bomb. Don't this worry, Siri. Down. Now, down the blow. looks like we're going to be using that tab to also pick our items that we're going to be using for combat as well. And the middle mouse button set item. Okay. Alright, so hold down and aim for your target. Had enough. Right. And so it says stop training. I can simply sheath my sword. Or I could just go around and um Train with Vesmir, or just sheathe my sword and finish him. Fine. So I can. Enough! 
Continue training and Now we really don't need to do any more training. So we're just gonna shoot their swords. Hopefully you got a gist of what we were supposed to do here. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. Looks like she's going after the helmet. Is she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri. Sure to find every last blade for you. What the? Uh, what does right? Don't tell me that is what I think it is. That's disturbing. I think we're back to the present time or time frame. Maria rode to Vizima. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Should I Take tell? Take forever him? to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Why not? Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Again, we're having this audio... Was she nagging you about something? Problem. Mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, Stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. I think that might mean that she's in danger. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. It's your sixth sense, maybe? We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. 
Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Pass necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Take a call. Trying to go around and loot whatever we can from here. See if there's any more stuff to loot. There's these guys everywhere. Here we go. There. Never know what might come in handy later on. In might want to loot everything that you come across. I mean, it could be junk, or it could be extremely useful in crafting or, or making something later on in the game. Like, I got more of these dudes to loot. It's good to pick up stuff. Uh, again, like I said, it, you might need it later on. It could be for potions, uh, or you could just simply sell it. But um, right now, we finished a tutorial, killed off some mobs right now, and I think it's a good time to actually uh, come to an end. Third this skull, particular, and black um, crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? This particular episode. Um, so, it is I, Redbeard, here again with Direct Gamers, and we'll see you at the beginning of the next episode where we get on our horse and continue on on Yennefer's trail and follow Vesemir to wherever we're going. <laughs>